Okay, cars to the Cruise America in Columbus, Nebraska. And the reason we're trying this is because we're supposed to be able to haul out of here two RV dealers and pick up a credit towards a, a badge or achievement or whatever they call it. We're going to see if this will work. Because I did this before, but we, didn't, but we didn't deliver to Cruise America. I don't know if it counts. I don't know if we have to haul RVs there, or if we just have to haul a load there. We shall see. I think we have to haul RVs, but I don't see any RVs except one going to, I believe, Colorado. That's not going to count. We have to take them to. We have to take them to the Cruise America in Omaha, Norfolk, or Columbus, turn Nevada. Turn left. So we shall see. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit down. Go straight. straight. Get ready to exit right. Exit right. Stay right, and then exit right. Of course, there's going to be an accident or something up here. Something going on. Okay, folks.
Exit right. how we get around this stuff. I'm not waiting. I'm not driving 6,000 miles out of my way. Sorry, folks. I'm not driving 6,000 miles out of my way to get around that. And that's what they want you to do, Will. Stay right. There's a better way. And then turn right. Turn Motel right. Motel 6. I hop. New National House of Pancakes. Mm. Sounds good. I said every time we pass that, but I haven't been there in a long time. That might be on my bucket list this month. I don't know though, because it's my birthday month. A lot of restaurants give you free food on your birthday. You guys need to check that out. The month of your birthday, Red Robin gives you a free burger. And a lot of restaurants give you free something the month of your birthday, the week of your birthday, or on your birthday. Depends. Depends on the restaurant. Man, you could you get fat in the month of your birthday. Checking, what are we doing here? Go straight. Turn right. Did that last time too. Almost got somebody on that corner. That was a popo. We don't want to do the police like that. That wouldn't be a good day. Stay left and then turn left. Turn left. Go straight. Go straight. <laughs> you can hear the dog in the background. Oh, big baby. Big baby. <laughs> must be alone. Somebody must have walked outside. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can hear 
She has anxiety issues when she's left alone. I like to be left alone. We're just gonna let her whine. She's alright. She has separation anxiety. During the day, her daddy goes to work, so he's here with us. Go straight. Denny's. I haven't been to Denny's in a long time. I'm not a big fan of Denny's, actually. I don't know why. Just, if I had my choice, I'd go to IHOP. International House of Pancakes, much better. Just my opinion. Certainly not sponsored, huh? I do have a sponsorship coming up if it hasn't already hit. By the time this video comes out, it's probably over. But, um, yeah. I have a sponsor on my other channel, Peterbilt 352 RV. Stay left. That, and then turn left. Um, I do a few times a year. They hit me up to do a sponsorship turn video. Left. Um, super clean products. I'll, I'll give them a little bit of a shout out here because I love the, I love their products. I stay off the curb there. I don't know if this is going to count towards our event. Because we um think you have to deliver RVs, but I'm not really sure. Go straight. Stay left. And then turn left. Stay left and then turn upside down. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. We have. Your route guidance is now finished. Usually I just drop it there at the gate, let them mess with it. Go out here and get us a picture of this.
we don't really know if we got anything for that or not. To be honest. To be truthful, I don't know. I don't know. Probably take the same load of cars to Norfolk now. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be something? Where's Cruise America going to Omaha? Like the same load of cars going to Omaha now. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Some heavy freight. Got some corn. I don't have any potatoes. We need potatoes. We have to haul potatoes. And then we'll get our credit for that one. Here you go, Columbus to Spokane. We have to go from Lincoln to one of these, I believe. Yeah, they don't have them on here. Okay. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this uh, short little video here. Probably put this with another one, but we'll see. We'll see. So uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. See you when we see you. And going from Outrider, this time to Norfolk, Nebraska. That will knock out two of the ones that we need. That will knock out two that we need for hauling from here to RV dealers. So we're going back to Cruise America, but this time in Norfolk, Nebraska. The other one was in Columbus. And then we have to find one more going from here to Omaha. It does not have to be, it does not have to be RVs. What I thought before, I thought it had to be RVs. It does not. Turn left. It only has to be coming from here to one of the Cruise America RV dealers. So we'll take this one and we still need to find a load of potatoes. To knock out that achievement you know i'm all about the achievements in this game that's that's my goal my goal with playing the game is to get the achievements the badges the bonuses that they put up that they put out for us so um been working on those didn't always do that sometimes i just played the game you know i didn't even care about the bonuses and the badges and the, all of that but now I'm kind of leaning towards getting those badges and the achievements and you know you really don't get anything for it like I think I got I got a plush animal which I will show you here in a second I did get a plush animal I'll show you here when we stop at the stop sign I'll show you real quick there it is the one that I got I actually I got several of them I put the armadillo on here that's the one I'm using right now, but I've got several of them. I got several of them that, that I was able to get because of achievements. Well, I looked, I looked and there's a car. Of course it is. Of course. I looked. It went anyway. What the heck? Hmm. Let's see if we can get out of here without That's killing anybody. Take the first exit. I hate when that happens. I look and you pull Exit out and now. there's a car there. Not sure wh how that happens, but it does. <clears throat> it happens quite often like that, actually. And I don't know how to fix that because all you can do is look and drive. You can't... In, in the game, you can't, like, look quickly Go unless straight. you have the... Uh, what they call it, the eye thing where you... Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I hate when that happens because I try to be accident free. Try to do a real game as much as I can. But it happens. Go straight.
Get ready to exit right. Exit right. <clears throat> For those that were on the last video, you may have heard the dog barking. Yet, she was alone. Um, Teresa had gone outside, my housemate had gone outside for a minute. And so, Bella, the big dog, was barking. Yeah, she has anxiety, uh, separation anxiety. Doesn't like it when be left alone. And Teresa actually has a Chihuahua Shih Tzu mix. And Mike, the other tenant, has a, a pit bull. So, and they're just now starting to get along with their playing together. So, and it took a long time. The, uh, Rose, the, the Chihuahua Shih Tzu's been here two years. And just now starting to get along with Bella. So, big step in the household here. Stay right, and then exit right. Well, gosh, we're going 70. Maybe I did something right. Oh, here we go again. This accident is still here? What the heck? Exit right. Well, make me do the same thing again. We are going to do the same thing again. Yeah, whatever. Could have had it cleaned up by now. I've already hauled the load up there and back and still there. Stay right and then turn right. We did that last time too in the last game because I'm not I'm not going six thousand miles out of my way because of a little right. fender bender. Okay. Walmart. looking Kenworth like the old school Kenworth with the long hoods on them when I first started driving truck I started out with a cab over first truck I drove was a cab over and then I went back to a well actually the first truck was Kenworth a long nose or conventional and then I went to a cab over and then I went back to a international day cab hauling from a uh, factory to warehouse for lawnmowers and then I drove a rock truck with an international cab over and yeah so that's where we are and then I worked for rider truck rental hauling the or driving the rental trucks back when they had the yellow rental trucks we used to go all over the uh, east coast pick up trucks and bring them back so they could rent them. Um, back then they <clears throat> they had the yellow uh, like the U-Haul type trucks where they um, would rent you by the day or whatever. And then they got out of that. James A. Ryder um, that started Ryder actually sold Ryder and started a business called Jartran which was James A. Ryder Transportation which was the trailers. You could rent little trailers like U-Haul trailers. And that didn't last. He got sued by Ryder because he was. they said he was competing with them. And so he shut that one down and Ryder shut down the yellow truck business. So it didn't make any sense to sue him and then shut it down. But yeah, they bought it and then shut it down. And they're, they, uh, Ryder's still in business, but they don't do uh, they don't do the small box trucks anymore. Not for individuals. They only do those for. Um, Go straight. They only do those for the businesses. Turn right. So, okay, whatever we did, now we're able to go faster than sixty-five. Huh. I don't get it. I don't get it. Wow. For a 
long time we couldn't go over 65. Now we were going 70 back there. That clicking sound is my chair. I put my foot up on the uh, cover and it it's cracked and it snaps sometimes. Stay left and then turn left. I need to stop doing that. Turn left. These loads here kind of remind me of when I was hauling from the factory to the warehouse. But it was the same trip every day. I would make several trips a day on that one. Go straight. Just, they were making lawnmowers and I just had to go do dropping hooks all day. All day long, drop a trailer, take it, uh, pick up an empty, take it back to the warehouse, to the factory, drop that one, pick up a loaded one, take it back to the warehouse back and forth and it wasn't I mean the warehouse wasn't like next door one like a yard jockey this was a, a little bit of a trick but I still got uh, you know six loads a day so. on a on a bad day I could actually get 13 loads on a on a regular day a good day go straight they loved that because they were filling them trailers up quick. And they wanted them out of there. In fact, one day I was late getting there because I... Anyway, yeah, I was late getting there. And they were calling wanting to know where I was. They had trailers backed up. Yep. Pretty good day. You get 13 loads in one day. I said if the warehouse wasn't that far away. I got paid by the load. I didn't get paid by the hour. Got paid by the load. So it was okay. It was okay. It's um, kind of grew tired of the same route every day, but it paid good. And then I moved south and changed course. When I moved down here, I was on. Uh, driving trucks for a little bit and then I went to real estate got into real estate so. and now I'm old and kind of not doing much of anything except playing games online and whatnot and you know doing what I want to do don't, don't have to do anything I don't want to do Go straight. Stay left, and then turn left. Turn left. There's the Cruise America we just delivered to on the last one. That's not the one we're going to this time. Going up to Go Norfolk, straight. a little bit further north. Up to 30 miles or so.
straight. Well, we hit 70 miles an hour. Stay right, and then turn right. We're almost there. We have three minutes. Turn right. Right there. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. We made it. It's all over now. Get our picture. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we have good work. We didn't get excellent. We had good work and we had damage penalty. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now, we have to find some corn. No, potatoes. We have to find potatoes. Potatoes. We need potatoes. We could haul RVs back to Columbus. Wow. We could haul RVs, can't we? <clears throat> I haven't done those. I don't think we have. We might have. I don't know. We'll see you on the next one, though. Uh, I'm not going to keep you here while I try to find something to do. Uh, you know what? Let me look real quick over here. See if we have any potatoes over here. I need a load of potatoes. Preferably, it would be nice to get them to go into Lincoln. That would be great. Nope. No potatoes, folks. No potatoes. No potatoes. Got green beans. 
Sorry, got a whole got a whole potatoes. Watermelon. Wow. Nuts. Nope, don't have any. Do we have coming out of Columbus any potatoes? I know I could just type potatoes up at the top, but I like looking through the loads. Potatoes. I like looking through the loads just to see what all they have. Kind of interesting. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, folks, we will see you on the next one. We will see you when we see you. Bye.